Hey guys. Anyone on Facebook knows I was recently nominated for the 22 push-up challenge. It's actually been a while now because, well, me and video aren't getting along. But I haven't been getting along with video for quite a while now, and that excuse is kind of getting old, but I'm too cheap to buy a better camera. So, that's kind of a challenge I've got, but not your problem. So, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. The, there's different reasons for that. One of the main reasons is, as many many of you may not know, depending on how many people I tag this in, because I will tag a lot, is I am undergoing treatments for cancer. And so that takes a lot of my energy, and my adaptive fitness specialist guy, he doesn't want me doing more than 10 to 15 reps of anything at once. So, uh, 484 push-ups, they will get done. I'm not going to videotape it. So, but most people I've noticed, because I have a large number of people doing this, on my Facebook page. They are averaging about 40 to 43 seconds per video to do their 30 push, or 22 push-ups. So that tells me at 22 days I can waste at least 10 minutes of your time. So I'm going to put together a short video to look more at what else this is trying to achieve. Now because I've messed this up a few times, I wrote notes this time. So. I'll try not to keep moving around so that glare doesn't go in the camera because that was mistake number two on one of my takes. It was constantly being washed out by the sun. But we actually have a nice sunny day today. It's about 13 degrees, looking good. So one of the things I want to talk about is the two facets of the 22 push-up challenge. Part of it is a donation. Uh, Wounded Warriors has a link and a bit of a site for it. And so that's actually a good thing to support. Some people I know don't like giving to the bigger charities. So I'm going to talk about the ones that are the smaller uh, grassroots charities. And places where if you want to send your money, you can. Not that I'm just trying to take anything away from Wounded Warrior. Because the first program I'm going to talk about it, that they support is Can Praxis. Can Praxis is an equine ther therapy program that helps PTSD sufferers and their families through horses. Now, many many of you don't know, but a few people do. I grew up as a farm boy, and my first mode of transportation was a pony named Deuce. So, uh, I get the whole, you know, enjoying a horse kind of thing. Granted, right now my horse is uh, large, black, and has a 106 cubic inch engine, and about 90 something horsepower. Anyway, so that's can praxis. Now, there are other charities that I'm not overly familiar with, but they do service dogs, things like that, which is a good choice for PTSD awareness, PTSD support, and education. Look into them. They are good to know about. Now, one of the Wounded Warrior Can Practice fundraisers I went to uh, was put on by an Alberta musician named Jesse Tyler Williams. Now, I'll include the link in the description. All links will be in the description. And that was a fundraiser and awareness because they had speakers and everything from Can Praxis. They had uh, patients, people who had gone through the program, things like that. It was pretty cool. And it involved uh, a show, dinner and a show. And I highly recommend checking out one of their events because what better way to donate than what to attend an event, silent auction, where you can give but still get something back. And it's actually a really good uh, event. The other side of that with the musical theme is Guitars for Vets. VETS, Veterans Emergency Transition Services, helps homeless veterans. A secondary program to that is to help PTSD is they provide guitars and lessons to people with PTSD or any veteran who wants to use music as a method of support. So that's kind of the musical side of things as I confer with my notes. Another part I want to talk about is the concept of like the can praxis is the people go off site. They're not at home to do, do the programs. So what you have is you have a couple that I'm going to mention, one in Alberta, one in Nova Scotia, Sheepdog Lodge and Rally Point Retreat. Rally Point Retreat's in Nova Scotia. Now these are lodges that are basically by PTSD sufferers, for PTSD sufferers, because the best way to get better is to talk to someone about it. So that's kind of the cool things about that. So I have talked about the fact that 
Can Praxis is supported by Wounded Warriors Canada. But I also want to talk about uh, another event I attended run by Military Minds, which is a basically peer support group, worldwide peer support group, where you get teamed up with a battle buddy and you get the you get support from a guy who's been there. And so I recently attended an event they organized here in Edmonton that included Canbraxis, Sheepdog Lodge, and another one called uh, Marijuana for Trauma. Uh, and that one is more of a proper use of medicinal cannabis. I'm not going to get into that because I actually am not overly educated about the topic. So that's one of those things where I don't want to talk about it because I don't know enough about it to do it properly. So, but Military Minds supports Marijuana for Trauma, Camp Praxis, Sheepdog Lodge. That's all around here in Alberta, which is pretty cool. One of the different things to look into is just reading about blogs and stuff. I'm going to include a link to a blog that I follow and a person who wrote a book as his story. I don't necessarily know if it's truly his story, but I'm willing to bet there's a lot of similarities. The book comes out soon, and I'm going to be getting my hands on a copy probably no later than October when I go out to Halifax. So, but this blog talks about PTSD. He actually talks about it through some of the lyrics of uh, some nice uh, music that uh, some people would enjoy. Some people won't, but not everyone can like things. So that's my video. I won't show you the push-ups uh, because I'm not doing them 22 at a time or 22 days straight. I'm doing them when I have the energy for it and just keeping track. So 484 push-ups and a video, but also a donation. So I've talked about awareness. I've talked about education and funding is just another part of it. These programs aren't free. They are a lot volunteer run, but they still need funding to go. So educate yourself, find the program that you speak to the most that touches your heart or touches a friend. That's also part of it is you can help where, it, where you feel it helps most. And if it's a grassroots thing, check them out, give them a donation because they can always use your support. So links are in the description on YouTube or it's going to be a long post above in Facebook. Or if you're on Twitter, well, then you're just going to have to actually click on the YouTube link and then see all the links in the description. So I'll talk about everything there. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this nice Edmonton day. Have a nice one.